I'm here with Callum, Ryan and Tom. We're outside Old Trafford. United have won 3-2. Uh, obviously happy, but where'd you make it at? I'm happy, yeah, but it's been, like everyone else has been saying, slow start to the game. We've always been slow start. Slow and sloppy, like that. 2-0 down in the first half. It was just a fucking horrible half, if you ask me. And it's like, everyone's saying, oh, Mourinho in, Mourinho out. Like, everyone's divided opinions and stuff like that. But you can't just show it to a manager from a game like that. We've just won 3-2, three goals in the second half. And you can't just be saying that. It's down to the players as well. You can't just be saying, oh, Josie out, let's, let's, that'll sort it out. That won't sort the problem out. It's down to the players as well. Up, at, up above Josie as well. Fucking Ed Woodward, he's a He's a fucking muppet. He's above him. If he let Mourinho what, do what he wanted to be able to do with that team and mould it to the way that he'd, they'd be playing well, then it could fucking work miracles. We're doing like a lot more. You think like, the board's holding him back? I think the board's holding him back a lot. Yeah, like he has. Like fuck me. <laughs> do you agree with that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna repeat what Andy Tate said. Fuck Ed Woodward, prick, massive <laughs> wanker. <laughs> Right, some of the players um, are having too much power. It happened at Chelsea. Look what happened there when he was, yeah, Pogba, main one. Uh, Lukaku, because he's Pogba's best mate, kind of. So I feel like he's got a bit in there. Uh, it's just too much pl uh, player power coming in. They're getting, personally for me, they shouldn't be having as much freedom on social media. They should step back, shut the mouths, and get on with the jobs and play football the way they should do. Play the Man United way like we did in the second half. But however, first half was wank. Second half was the old Man United way. And we need to we need to do that. 90 minutes, not 45 minutes. How do we repeat that? Just play What was the difference, do you think? Because we've seen under Jose, there's been a couple of games, we go 2-0 down and you think, oh, there's the real United again. But it takes us to go 2-0 down. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I've no idea. I think we're just like, ooh. Yeah, no, but like, like I was saying before, it's not just down to the, the manager, it's down to the players as well. It's thinking, right, they're 2-0 down. It's like something's clicked in the red. The second half was all effort. And if we play like that all the time, then we will be winning 3-0, 4-0. 3-1, do you know what I mean? It's, it is a lot of effort. It's like, it's like something's clicked in the red and they're thinking they're embarrassed, which they f should be, should be embarrassed to play like that. Newcastle, they've lost the f they've not, not won a game. They've not won a game this season. Do you know what I mean? They're beating us 2-0. Oh, f off. Tommy, what do you think? Well, at the end of the day, the book falls at the manager, doesn't it? Whether you're 2-0 down at half time, you've probably got multiple people calling for his head and then 3-2, you've got people saying, oh, he's here to stay for the rest of the season, back him all you want. And I think, it's 50% manager, 50% player like it always should be. Those players look like they thought they knew Mourinho was going after this game in the first half and they just couldn't be bothered. Whether, regardless or not, whether you're Mourinho's best mate, whether you're his next door neighbour, whether you don't like him, you play for the badge, you play for the shirt, you play for the fans. We're paying good money to come here and support this team every week. And the, sometimes they're showing it, sometimes not. And that has described Mourinho's um, campaign here in just one game. First half was abysmal. I, I don't think I've ever seen us play worse than that at Old Trafford or even away from home. No one looked like they could be bothered. The defence just looks all over the place. It's hard to back Mourinho when he's making decisions like putting McTominay at centre-back and taking Eric Bailly off. He's moaning about we don't have the technical quality to play from the back, but he's so daily wind and he's also got Eric Bailly who actually can play out. When you give it Chris Smalling, all he's going to do is play to his other centre-half partner or go back to De Gea. So if he's, he's moaning about ball playing centre-halves, if you're going to take a centre half off, take Chris Smalling off and keep Eric Bailly on. I've seen that, like, there was a point where Pogba dropped so deep and he was getting frustrated with Smalling, give me the ball, give me the ball quicker, quicker. And it didn't come quicker. And do you think the reason we're seeing Pogba fall so deep in the team is because no one could pass it out? You saw, you saw it in the second half, he come out and I was thinking, I said, I said to my dad that they're, they're bound to make a change and you see Fellaini come out and then you saw that he took McTominay off. And it's a waste of a substitution if you're going to take McTominay off in the half time. But you saw Matic went to centre back and Pogba dropped even deeper. And it, it was it was rude on football, but it worked for us. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's frustrating because we have the quality going forward and in the first half we didn't use it whatsoever. And I think play like that more often with more effort and more passion and more fight for the shirt. But we can go far in places, but the league's gone. Obviously, we're at the Carabao Cup. Champions League's looking un unrealistic. We can still go for it, maybe get a quarter final. The only thing we've got again is the FA Cup. And like last year, if we don't win the FA Cup, it's another trophy of the season. But if I don't think he's going to stay to the end of the season. Um, even if he gets to the end of the season, he's probably going to leave in the mid-season anyway. But whoever we bring in, back your manager. You don't back your manager 
then he's just going to... Mourinho's out there just proving a point to everyone that the board's not back me, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to play a centre mid at centre back. I'm not going to start the right back that you've signed for me. I'm not going to start the centre mid that you've signed for me. And that's it. He's just, he's just losing faith with the board and the board's losing faith with him.